Welcome back to my channel and happy Motivation Monday. Today we are going to focus on movements that you can do and variations of other movements that would be safe for your knees. If you have knee problems, knee issues, knee pain, knee injuries, uh, this video is for you. So I'm gonna show you a couple variations of the burpee, one of my favorite all-time exercises, as well as the squat. Uh, I'm gonna show you an alternative to the squat. And I'm also gonna talk about what you can do to help save your knees if you still like doing movements like lunges and squats. Okay, so the first movement we are going to do is a variation of the burpee. I love burpees only because you can do them absolutely anywhere. I've done them all on vacation in my hotel room. You can do them on the beach. You can do them in your backyard. You can do them in your bedroom. Um, you can do them in a dining room. So, you know, you need really little space to do it and it works your entire body. So burpees are just an awesome, awesome exercise or movement for you to do and incorporate in your workout. But if you need to save your knees, or even if you have issues with your lower back, these are really two good variations that you can do. Uh, first of all, you wanna pick a nice, stable um, surface. So I picked an ottoman just because it was convenient for me to bring it in here, but you could do it with your kitchen table, a counter, a chair, any type of object that's nice and sturdy and isn't gonna move if you push it. So obviously the ottoman might move a little bit, but it was uh, small and easy for me to bring in here. So, also, uh, the higher the actual um, object is, so kitchen counter, if it's up here, it's gonna be easier for you to do the movement versus lower to the ground, so just keep that in mind, too. So, what you're gonna do is place your hands firmly on, uh, on the surface, and you're either going to jump back, kick back, or you can step back, do your push-up, jump back or step back and finish off with uh, jumping and clapping your hands like you would a normal burpee. So again, it's and of course you can either do the step back. You could also take the, the push up away so you could just You know, so there's a lot of different ways that you can make it a little easier for your limbs and either use the push-up or take it out of the movement. So those are two variations you can do for the burpee. Now I'm going to show you an, a great alternative basically to doing a, a squat. So squats, everyone knows it works your glutes, hamstrings, uh, your quads. It's great for your lower body, great to strengthen your back as well, but if you have problems with your knees, and your lower back, once again, uh, this is a great alternative. They're called glute bridges. Basically, you just wanna lay on the ground and you're gonna bend at the knee. Um, uh, you're gonna have them about hip distance apart. So your legs should be about hip distance apart and you're gonna lift. Okay, let me get back a little bit so I can show you on the video a little bit better. Okay, so again, Legs hip distance apart, hands firmly on the floor, and you're gonna lift your pelvis, basically, up towards the ceiling. And you're going to, while you're doing this movement, you're going to try and squeeze your butt, squeeze all of the muscle groups that you can up here, including your core. It's just a great alternative to doing a squat. Now to make this movement even more challenging, if this is a little too easy for you, you kick one leg out, and you could do single leg glute bridges. Finally, we're gonna talk about lunges and squats. These are awesome movements. You can do them with weights, you can do them without weights, you can do them with barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, you name it, you could do it with these two movements. But if you are doing it in bad form, you are going to kill your knees and also not do a good favor for your back. So for lunges, you want to make sure that when you're stepping forward, whatever leg you're stepping forward with, that your knee is not going past your toes. Okay, so this is proper form. This is bad form. See the difference? You're putting all that pressure on your knees. So, and the same principle applies when you're doing squats because look what happens if you're putting 
your knees or if your knees are bending past your toes when you're doing squats, look, my heels are going up. Okay, so that's also a big no-no. You want your heels to stay down on the ground. All the weight should be on your heels when you're doing squats. And you want your knees, once again, not to go past your toes. Uh, also with squats, it's important to, um, you know, your, your stance should be hip distance apart. Your toes should point just a little bit outward. And when you're coming down, just keep in mind that your knees should never go in like this. You wanna push out with your knees, okay? So remember to push out with your knees. The knees should never go past the toe and all of that weight should be on your heels. There you have it, just a couple of variations and alternatives, things that you can do all again within the comfort of your own home if you are having any issues with your knees. So I'll keep you posted and keep me posted too if you have any other questions, suggestions on things you would like to see. And thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you have an awesome week and I'll see you on the next one.